Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to be adding a photo to a Tumblr. This has been highly requested and this sweet mom gave me permission to use this as a tutorial. So let's get started. To prep my Tumblr, I used Final Sand from DIY Epoxy. It takes off any oils and residue, that coating that is on top of your stainless and gives it a light sand so that your glue is going to adhere to your tumbler really well or epoxy paint, whatever you are adding onto the stainless without repelling. We're going to apply our glitter using Crystallax glitter glue. I just applied a thin coat of this using a makeup brush and then we are going to add on our glitter. The glitter we are using is High Horse from PDB Creative Studio. This customer and I have pretty similar styles, so I was really excited when she told me just to go with it and put her baby's picture on this tumbler. So we're going with darker colors and High Horse was perfect because it has that beautiful bright silver glitter but also has some black and opals mixed in. I sat that to the side and allowed it to dry for about four hours and applied two layers of epoxy sanding in between layers so that we get a nice smooth surface to apply our vinyl to. Our four hour peekaboo we are using a rose file that I found on Etsy and we are actually using a 24 ounce plump instead of the 16 ounce plump from the steel magnolia that we just glittered. So I resized this to 9.675 by 8 inches. And I'm so, so sorry. I know that it would have been awesome <laughs> if I showed adding the wrap to my tumbler. But somehow that footage was lost. But luckily I have shown adding a full cut vinyl wrap to a tumbler before and I will link that video here as well as end of the tutorial for you. I am doing an ombre between sage and a hunter green. Both are from rust oleum. So you can see I am holding my tumbler way out away from the spray paint going a little heavier along the top and the bottom rim with that hunter green and then in the end i go in with a very light dusting of the sage green to help blend that into the top and bottom i allowed that to dry completely before going in and removing the stencils as you can see it looks completely different here than it did in the sun but this paint dried beautifully and the high horse glitter was just perfect peeking through that sage and army green Now, normally I would add my printable vinyl directly on top of my spray paint peekaboo, but since the humidity is really crazy here, anytime I clear coat over top of my spray paint, it tends to crackle and peel. So I put this on my turner and did one mega thin layer of epoxy just to seal that spray paint in before we started our decal. Now the font that I used for the last name that we are putting on the tumbler is Western and the photo was provided by the customer so I have no clue how she got them to look <laughs> the way that they do but she did a awesome job and sent that over to me. I do know that she used the new app going around new profile pic to get that really pretty watercolor painted effect of the images. I just created a 0.035 offset of the image as well as the name. And anytime you are doing an offset for a print to cut image, make sure that you click on the offset and change it to cut. Now, once you get to your print screen, you're going to send your image to your printer and it's going to pop up this screen. 
always, always make sure that your ad bleed is on. And if you have issues with your printer not printing a high quality, you can select the use system dialog toggle button. And when you select print, your system dialog will pop up and you can choose to use best quality in your print. I use the Hay Butter Craft printable vinyl for this. It is matte, it's very thin, so it feeds through the printer really easy. I don't have any jams with it. And it tends to have less of a mess when the machine cuts around the vinyl. If you used printable vinyl in the past, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The edges seem to not really fray, but they get sort of dusty-like. There's particles around the edges of a thicker printable vinyl, and this one does not have that. So I really love the Hay Butter Crafts printable vinyl. I just lined the image up on my tumbler, made sure that it was pressed down really well from the center out, so I do not have any bubbles underneath the vinyl. And you're going to want to make sure that that is extra straight before you press it down. If you have thought that a decal was hard to put on before, adding an image to a tumbler is definitely tedious because if it is the slightest bit crooked, it will stand out more than any decal that you have put on in the past. So make sure that you have that lined up perfectly before you press it down on your tumbler. Next, we're going to layer our name with our offset. After we layer our vinyl, I'm going to flip that over and show you a little trick. Hold on to the backing of your vinyl while applying pressure with your squeegee tool and just peel that right away and the back comes off so super easy. Once I have that, I'm going to line it up directly opposite of the image that we have on the front of the tumbler. After the name was on, I double checked to make sure that the image was pressed down really well and sealed this with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat two times before we applied our epoxy. Sealing your printable vinyl avoids getting any micro bubbles over top of your images. A printable vinyl is very porous, so you want to seal it in completely before adding that epoxy on. I used DIY Epoxy Speedy PD Fast Set for my first coat and it dries incredibly fast so after 30 minutes I was able to add on a second and final layer of the DIY Regular Epoxy. I did not show it here but on my final layer I did add in a teeny tiny bit of diamond dust mica powder from PDB Creative Studio to add a tiny little bit of shimmer to that solid paint and this beautiful tumbler was complete I know there are some that say they don't like adding images to a tumbler but y'all I cannot get over how gorgeous they look under epoxy adding an image to a tumbler has always been one of my favorite things to do although I don't get to do it very often I was very grateful that this mom allowed me to put her beautiful babies on this tumbler and show y'all the process. I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and have learned something from it. As always, all the materials that I used in the tutorial will be listed down in the description below as well as some discount codes for you. If you aren't already following us on Instagram or part of our Facebook group, hop on over and join us. We have lots of fun and do giveaways. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell in the corner to be notified anytime a new tutorial drops. Thank you all so much and we'll see you next time.